Here we have three, three web pages. Of course, Google indexes billions and billions of pages, but we're going to focus on these three pages because this will tell us enough to understand the process. Page 1 HTML, 2 HTML, and 3 HTML. I've abbreviated what's on those pages to keep things as simple as possible. Page 1 starts with the words crazy, followed by the word cat. Then there's a bunch of intervening text, maybe thousands of words. Then the word cat crazy comes up again later in, uh, in 1.html. I think I might have said it the other way around. Cat crazy is what starts the document, lots of intervening text. Then cat crazy occurs again. Then there's some other text. Okay, that's what 1.html looks like. What does 2.html look like? There's a bunch of text. That's what those dot, 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 the ellipsis means. Then the word crazy followed by the word elf. Then a bunch of text. Then the word crazy. Then a bunch of text. Then the word elf. Okay, so what I've done is I pared these web pages down to just the three words that we're going to concern ourselves with so we can make it through this example. Then finally, 3.html has a bunch of text, the word cat, a bunch of text, the word elf, a bunch of text, and the word elf again. Okay, so when Google goes out and, and finds these pages through its spiders, through its bots, it takes them, it's going to shake them all up, and it's going to make an index out of them. Let's take a look at the index that gets made from just these three words on these three pages. That index has three columns the word that's on the page, the page that it came from, and what position on that page it's in. So you can see that cat occurs in 1.html. It also occurs in 3.html. In 1.html, it's in position 1, and it's in position 20. In 3.html, in 2.3.html, excuse me, it's in position 3. Okay, you get the idea? This table summarizes all the words, at least the three words that we're looking at right now, what pages they're on, and what positions. And what you'll see now is that this simple approach to shaking up all the words, putting them in an alphabetical index, and making links back to where they occurred on the pages is enough to answer all the kinds of questions that we've, been, that we've, that we've talked about before, all the kind of questions that I talked about in the, in the uh, query lecture. So let's run through those.